Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and I am your watch guy today. You probably already know that. And if you don't, that means you're definitely not subscribed. So go to that little red button below us and click subscribe. And while you're there, you could click that bell so you get a notification every time I post some new content. I know that means more of my face taking up your screen time, but I, I promise the information and content is there. Today, I am reviewing a piece from Suggest. Now, if you already know Suggest, you know that they are a quality watchmaker from China. They play in a homage bracket, but they make some incredibly well-made watches. And today I'm reviewing one of those homages. It's actually a homage to one of my favorite historical watches. The Suggest homage to the El Primero. Now the El Primero in its heritage form is one of the most spectacular watches to look into. They were so good that Rolex actually used their movements in the early iterations of the Daytona. And some people will even tell you that they are the better Daytonas. Definitely look into that if you don't already know about it. It's a fantastic history that Zenith have and they are one of the unsung heroes of the Swiss market in my opinion. If you wanted to pick one of these watches up, I've got a link to AliExpress in the description. Now, I haven't been given this watch by anyone. This is my own watch. I bought it myself. And that's because I just really love the look of the El Primero and I needed to see one of these in person. However, if you wanted to pick up a pre-owned watch, well, I've got the website for you. The watchguystore.com linked in the description is my own personal resale site. I curate that collection myself. These are watches that I have either bought for resale or had on for review and they are all at an astonishing price. If you hit that link in the description and go to the website and decide that you want to pick something up, well I've also got a discount code for you. Because we're friends and you know, mates rates. So if you use the code JTWG10, that will get you 10% off at checkout. Make sure you use that if you're buying something because we all love saving a little bit of money. With that out of the way, let me get this camera turned around and let's get into this suggest. I say this without any doubts in my mind. This is my favourite homage piece from AliExpress, which is interesting enough to say because I didn't actually buy this from AliExpress and I haven't been sent it. I picked this watch up on eBay pre-owned uh, because I wanted to hedge my bets and I didn't really want to take a chance buying one new. But yeah, it's fantastic. Probably ruining the entire review there, you already know my thoughts now, but let me tell you about the specifications and a little bit more about this watch. It comes from Suggest and it is a homage to the Zenith El Primero. Now, if any of you guys watching has listened to me rant on about chronograph watches and some of my favorite watches, you'll know that Zenith are up there with some of my favorite pieces. The El Primero line has so much heritage in it and is really one of the most underrated lines in my opinion. But I digress, today we are talking about Suggest. Hey, that was a nice little round, wasn't it? So this piece is actually packed with a Siegel ST1902 movement. That is a mechanical hand-wound chronograph movement, and it has the effects of this really nice sweeping mechanical chronograph hand and the mechanical sweep to the second hand as you can see at the nine o'clock there. The ST19 movement makes chronograph mechanical watches affordable to the masses. Plenty of manufacturers use it including micro brands and it is probably one of the most unsung heroes of the budget watch market. Let me just show you how beautiful it is. A lot of you probably have already seen this and you'll probably know the story behind it just as a little taster. Now this watch is built in 316L stainless steel. It has a radial gradient brushing to it, which gives that sunburst type of look to the casing. As well as that, there's a high polished finish to the lugs, as well as a lovely chamfered edge and a horizontal brush to the sides. Honestly, suggest have finished this watch brilliantly, especially within the price parameters that they had. Now this comes in at £201 on the Suggest official store on AliExpress. I've linked that in the description. You can pick up other variants and they'll come in as little as £188. Completely depends on which setup you want to go with. Personally, out of the lineup, this is my favourite with the split night and day dial. It's just absolutely beautiful. We have a signed crown with the Suggest S 
in an almost times Roman type of font on the crown. Two pushers, piston style pushers, as you know. Top is to start the chronograph, stop the chronograph, and then the bottom is to reset it. Let's talk about the dimensions of the piece because this is a really beautifully wearable watch. Even for people with smaller wrists like myself, this comes in at 37.2 millimeters in diameter. It is 13.3 millimeters thick. Look to look, it comes in at 47.2 millimeters. We have 20 millimeter lugs on this watch that makes for plenty of options for you to switch this out onto personally i think this would really suit a canvas style strap a little bit utilitarian in design i think could really go well with this watch sapphire crystal and it is a really heavily domed sapphire crystal which gives an almost vintage aesthetic to the watch itself along with this radial brushing finish the watch has a very rugged look to it a very 60s 70s design and that definitely goes with the El Prime Miro uh, that's the sort of age range that we are looking at 50 meters of water resistance on this piece and as I showed you we do have a display case back the absolutely insanely beautiful mechanical chronograph movement ticking away in the back there usual information around the outer edge for this watch and we move into the dial itself. Now, this dial really does it for me. The day-night type of contrast with this split black and white dial and the grey accents throughout, I think, are absolutely beautiful. The matte-like effect to the black side of the dial with an almost reflective texture to the white side. I think the effort that's gone into this dial and the design from Suggest is really underrated. Now we have a tachymeter scale around the outer edge, which also works quite well for a minute track. At the three o'clock, we have the 30 minute indicator for the chronograph, and it has that lovely vinyl effect around the inside of the subdial. White markings, very legible. Over at the nine o'clock, we have the sweeping second hand again a vinyl effect to the inside of the sub dial black very legible design to that too down at six o'clock we have a 12 hour indicator i will get back to that later on chronograph printed above the six o'clock sub dial and suggest printed at 12 o'clock the lovely gray accents to the black side of this dial and the black accents to the white side really do make this watch stand out to me. Applied indices throughout and we have a simple sword style handset that is broken up in the black and white sections and brushed on the outer edge. Really does give a classy look to this chronograph. The dial is finished by this paddle style stark white chronograph hand which as mentioned before does sweep beautifully around the dial and really does fit nicely inside the casing just take that back obviously we have one thing left to discuss and that is the loom shot let me get these lights out and we'll have a look at that so as you can see and actually in surprise to myself the suggests actually has loomed sub dials which is really really nice to see i think that that really does complete a lot of the look here and adds a little bit to the piece itself adds a little bit of extra legibility if you will i think that really it'd be unfair to give this anything less than a seven i think seven and a half probably it's not doing anything out of the ordinary but it is definitely a very solid loom signature so well done to suggest for that let's discuss the bracelet on this piece we have female end links solid end links also simple three piece style these are rigid links now the bracelet is nothing to scream about uh, it is quite simple in design just does what it should do correctly we have suggest logo printed on the clasp fold over double pusher milled clasp now the bracelet will set you back less than an extra 20 pounds i always say pick up the bracelet and you can buy straps afterwards or you can always put it on straps that you already have in your collection. I always think that's the best financially viable option, especially if you're looking to move this piece on. High polish fold over clasp differentiates slightly from other 
pieces and a high level of micro adjust. We have six on there. Gets you a perfect fit on wrist. Just pop this on and show you how it looks on my six and a quarter inch wrist. As you can see, really does wear quite well on myself. I think that this is the ideal sizing for me. Uh, I usually wear bigger pieces than I should, bear that in mind. So I think that this would definitely suit a wide range of wrist sizes. It's an absolutely gorgeous piece for the price, £200. I think that this is a real, real winner, especially with that mechanical movement in the back of it. But that's not to say that it doesn't have any downsides. Let me talk to you about those as we sweep on into the moan section. Now, first of all, this clasp, it doesn't seem exactly well made. And that's a shame because that's why I usually associate with Suggest well made. The fold over itself stands up in certain positions. It's not exactly perfectly fit. And when closing it back into place, it seems to be slightly misfit. So it's not always easy to do. Otherwise, the bracelet is perfectly fine for what it is. Finally, my final moan for this piece is the, well, I'm not going to say the movement because the movement's fantastic, but it is the functionality of the movement. Down at the six o'clock, we have a second hour indicator. Just so you guys are aware, this is always my moan with these movements. As we move around the dial here, I'll set it at 10 o'clock. As you can see, it just mimics the hour hand. So it's completely obsolete to any functionality. And it is literally just there for appearances. And that's a little bit of a shame when you look at this piece because it is, it's absolutely fantastic. All aside from that little subdial down at six o'clock. And that's down to the movement that they have to use to keep this within budget, which is a shame. Otherwise, I think this is absolutely fantastic. And I've actually had this in for a good while and I'm talking months on months. I've just really enjoyed wearing it and I didn't want to take it out of rotation just yet because of how nice it was in my collection. It, it definitely spoke to me and it really does show that I definitely need a El Primero in my checkout collection. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Well done to suggest with this homage because they've really nailed it. Thanks for watching this one, guys. I'm sure it is no new news to yourselves that suggests make some fantastic homage pieces. At £200 with an ST19 movement in the back of it, I think that this is a real winner. And that's because my personal taste does sway towards that El Primero look. Tell me what you guys think of it. Tell me what you think of the actual El Primero, because I think, honestly, it doesn't get the press that it really does deserve. Now, if you wanted to pick one of these watches up, I have linked the Suggest official store in the description. I have no affiliation to that store. I have no affiliation to Suggest, in fact. So if you can find a better deal on AliExpress, then go ahead. I just thought I'd link the official store as a starting point for you guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new around here, remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll see much more of my content. And I will see you in the next one.